Hello everyone, I am Pie Patch, and welcome back to uh, an additional episode of The World Next Door. I did technically finish it in the last one, uh, but we had a bit of a choice at the end between uh, Liza and Cornell, and I chose Liza, so we're going back and choosing Cornell and seeing uh, if that makes much of a difference. Um, also, there are a few achievements that I missed, so I'm going to take the opportunity to go back and get those because I can't jump straight to the end, I need to play through the whole game again. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm basically just going to show you the significant parts as well as any additional yeah, little things that I happen upon that I feel are uh, important. So the, the um, achievements I'm going for at the moment are Puzzle Master because apparently I missed one of the puzzles in, um, uh, in that uh, cult shrine. Unfortunately, I must have missed one of the rooms. Whoops. Uh, so I'll go back and get that one. I've got Human Savers Club, which is summoning uh, all of your friends into battle at least once in a single playthrough. And I didn't use the Essence Spells heaps when I was playing, but I will try and use them a bit more this time. Try and get that one. Collector is find every item in the game in a single playthrough. I didn't know that I missed any. I thought I was reasonably thorough with it, but, but maybe there was something in Cornell's route or maybe there was something uh, that I pick up with that puzzle that I missed that I didn't get, so I'll try and get that one. Uh, there's um, Essence Adept, which is casting 15 Essence Spells in a single playthrough, which of course I didn't get. Uh, and then I believe there's a hidden achievement, but I'm pretty sure it's probably uh, to um, pick Cornell's route. So... I am going to play through this whole game and I'll jump in when it's significant. So, see you soon. Okay, got it. Brilliant. 
There we go. Puzzle Master. Brilliant. Whew. Okay. So I've got Puzzle Master. And I've got Essence Adept. And I've got Hear and Save as Collab. So all I've got left now to get is Collector and the Cornell Ending. Cool. <laughs> Okay, we're back. I did it. I, I played through the whole game again. And I think I managed to get all the achievements I was going after. I got Puzzle Master and Human Savers Club. I think I've just about gotten everything. I can't think of anything that I missed, but I guess we'll see because I haven't got the achievement for that yet. Uh, and I got Essence Adept. So now all there is to do is to go to the shrine with Cornell. Let's do it. God knows how this is going to go. This feels like the bad end route, but well, I guess we'll see. Oh, God. We're here. I can see that. Back to where it all began. Tell me something, Jun. Tell me about growing up on Earth. Oh? Dude, stop at the game. What's, what's going on? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, pretty normal, I guess. It was pretty normal, I guess. Something you have a home that. there. I guess you can call it that. And you've always felt out of place, haven't you? I've always been a little different. I like weird stuff. And your masks. <sighs> yeah, the mask thing. You're hiding something. Oh? You have a birthmark covering your forehead down to your nose. Okay. How do you... It has an intricate shape. It looks almost intentional. Okay, how do you know that? Because I know your parents. I'm sorry, what? Well, one of them. What? You couldn't have known them. They died when I was... Ashenda. Do you trust me, Jun? No... In this run? Yes. Um... Yes. <laughs> oh, that was not a positive laugh. That's good to hear. How did you know my parents? You were born on Earth, but your home is here, Jun. Oh? You belong to both worlds. Oh. Half human, half Emrin. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> How? We don't have much time. You were born to an Emrin father and an Earth mother. Your mother went back to Earth before the portal closed nearly 20 years ago. Your father sent me to find you. Oh, interesting. He knew about me? <laughs> he didn't. Not when you were born, but he's trying to reach you now. What does he want? He wants you to join him. Oh, that sounds sinister. That's why we're down here. I don't... I don't understand. You have immense power, Jun. You must have felt it. 
I just learned how to use magic. How can that be true? These abilities you have, they're amazing, and we need you. Oh, we? To do what? Open the portal forever. Wow. How is that possible? We need each other to make it happen, Jun. We can change both our worlds for the better. Stay here on Emrys. I'll take you to your father. You don't have to be alone anymore. Oh, interesting. I mean, we're picking this route. We're going to stick to it. Okay, Cornell. I'm in. You made the right choice. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll see. There's just one more thing. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, he opened his eyes. <laughs> I need proof that you're ready. Oh, we've got to fight Cornell. Hell yeah, dude. Let's do this. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Kill your friends. Kill your friends. My god, this is so messy. There's so much happening. Jesus. Oh, this is definitely the evil path, right? Oh no, not rainy. I don't know what they're actually doing, like what their powers are. Ooh, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and more? Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. Are they just using the board like me? I think so. Is that it? Oh, easy. You're good, but you're not ready. Excuse me? Not yet. What? I just kicked your ass. This isn't fair. We'll meet again, Jun. Don't worry. Uh. What? That was it? Okay. Okay. Um. Is this going to continue like normal then? Oh, sorry, I should be reading this. <laughs> you have no idea how glad I am to see all of you. Can't Otto said? You were gonna do this without us? Uh, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> uh, duh, she's done. I'm sure she's just single-handedly beat like a gazillion grievances. Where did you come down here by yourself? We were all ready to go. Ascender? Jun, what happened down here? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... I found out who I am. Wait, what does that mean? I'm half Emrin. Kitaru said? Uh, what? That actually m explains a lot. How you picked up spells so easily? Uh, and why she's not totally dead? I know, right? Look, I'll explain it all later, but right now I just want to kick some ass and get out of here. <laughs> Deal. Okay, well, I... I mean, I imagine the rest is... Is just the game. Uh, what about our dad? Um, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna fly through this and... If anything new pops up, I'll show you. Oh, oh, here we go. This is new. You're not human. Um, yeah, I guess it, I guess that makes sense. Salutar. It all makes sense now. I've been able to use magic so easily. I never felt like I belonged in my parents. Mm. Not to mention the fact that you're like not dead right now from being on Amherst this long. 
Sawa. Yeah, that too. So I guess that was never a threat of me dying. <laughs> so wait, that Cornell guy was behind all of this? I'm not exactly sure, but he knew everything. It all happened so fast. Hmm. Liza, um, Liza, back in the shrine you said this was all your fault? Oh wait, okay. Wait, no, this is back to stuff we're familiar with now. This all seems to be the same so far. And I mean, I did get, I did get that extra achievement, so maybe, maybe that's it. I mean, I guess it added a bit of backstory information, but it wasn't really as, as conclusive as I thought. Well, hang on. If I say maybe I should stay on Emrys now, we know I'm not going to die, so maybe I should, maybe I should just stay on Emrys. Oh, you're right. No, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. I should never mind continuing on. Okay, I don't know. Let's see if anything different happens here. Because it might just be an extra little end credit thing, but it also might just be nothing. <laughs> Okay, so 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 the portal opened again and 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 we knew that that's what our dad was supposedly trying to do to get it to open permanently. So is it just I guess implying that that was his doing? And was there an implication that the pink wolf at the end was our dad or something? Um Cause I, cause I get the, the, the grievances in the, in the library temple were clearly like all the people that were working there, they stayed there too long and turned into grievances, I'm guessing. The cult people all, um, turned into grievances. Yeah, what does lie ahead? Is, uh, is this setting up for another game maybe? Because I did pick Connell's route and... Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid that, that didn't really answer many questions for me. I guess are they are they planning to release a new game? I don't know. I I can't see anything about a uh, another game. Maybe I, I I don't know if maybe I'm just not connecting certain dots. Maybe I need to go back and read some of the over the text. But it felt like. It kind of introduced the thing of, oh, your dad wants to open the new portals, and then I guess the portal opened, but it, it felt like, I mean, we were going to go meet him. Maybe the pink, maybe the pink wolf thing just was our dad. He turned into a grievance. Maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm just jumping in from the future here. Uh... Right after I finished playing, I don't think I had my thoughts very well collected, so I'm just going to kind of jump in here and give you a few more of the things that I thought about in um, since I've uh, finished actually playing the game. Um, uh, just a few little things. I went back over uh, the things, some of the things we learned at the shrines that I didn't really fully register while we, while we were there. So yeah, so it's obvious that different things went on in the shrines. People stayed down there for too long and started turning into grievances as Cerise started to do uh, in uh, at the end of the game. Um, in uh, the... Not the very first one, the one we ran away from and ended up defeating in the end, the, the second one, so the blue... Uh, kind of library-esque one. The uh, the grievance at the end of that was Sonoba, uh, who was a researcher we found out about, who was researching the shrine, ended up staying down there for too long when uh, like lots of the other researchers decided to back out, stayed there too long, turned into a grievance. And that's who we ended up killing in the end, the big bad one. I'm guessing the other ones are just other researchers that just didn't get as big a magic blast or whatever. Uh, the second one, the the, well, the fire one, the fire shrine. Um, that one is is Forge Master uh, Brecio, Brecio, B R E C C I O. Um, 
Uh, you found that out by looking at a, a big old statue that I ended up. I, I didn't see it when I first played through it, but on my second run through it, but I saw it and clicked and found that out. Uh, so uh, something obviously happened down there. I'm not exactly what, sure what. I guess um, uh, they were trying to use the the shrine as a as a forge place. They were engineers and. Uh, and Brachio was the person running the shrine, uh, the forge, and probably just stayed down there too long, turned into the big bad creature at the end. Um, something that's also important to note there is that we saw some like oven looking things, um, and the comments that were uh, gleaned from that is that it looks like someone was extracting something from the shrine and transporting it to the surface. And we also saw an anvil in there that was apparently used to make ad magic items, but also looked like it had been used recently. Um, which my first instinct is to say that maybe someone made the weird sword that we eventually used the portal, uh, used to open the portal, which is probably my first guess. I'm also thinking it looks a bit worn, like battle damage, so maybe it's not that because it's got marks and stuff on it, but also maybe the person who made it wasn't a, prof a particularly proficient sword maker or whatever. I don't know. But sword seems like first and foremost guess. Um, then the, the, the creepy cult shrine, um, there's the other note there that the candles were lit, um, which now seeing, uh, that the anvil was recently used says to me, yeah, so someone has been jumping around in, in these shrines, like just before we've gotten there. And I have ideas about that. So someone has been messing around in there recently, not just us. Uh, so that, uh, that last shrine was for the, the cult of Zona. Uh, but the other name we hear in there is Addy, which um, we see, of course, uh, the, the grievances at the very end there. You've got the big spooky one holding onto the little girl. Uh, not to mention around the shrine, you see lots of statues paired, like, paired up. Like, and one of them uh, is dedicated to Addy, and often the other one is broken. So my thinking is, um, I don't know, there's lots of different ways you could take that. My first interpretation of it is um, maybe Zona is the leader of this cult, maybe Addy is their child, um, and they both got turned into grievances that would, if they're kind of almost both leaders in that sense, it would make sense as to why there are statues of both of them. Maybe, uh, so, so maybe, uh, mind you then also maybe Zona was a grievance that this cult worshipped, and maybe Addy was kind of the one leading that. Um, and that's why the Zona figure looks a bit more grievance-like than Addy, who appears more human, but she kind of also became a grievance through exposure and they kind of joined to become this one figure. Who knows? Um, yes, but there's this idea that, that people have been hanging around in there recently. Um, a lot of the implications into it say to me that they intended to maybe make a follow-up game to this. Maybe they will, maybe they have, maybe um, uh, some of the other games that this company has put out are connected to this world. So maybe I'll have a look at some of the other games and we'll see if there's any connection there. Because um, I didn't notice it as much as I was playing through it, but definitely in Cornell's run, he, he says, um, I will take you to go and see your father, uh, but you need to prove yourself first. And even though we beat it, he says, well, you're not worth, you're not good enough yet, so I'm not going to take you to go see him yet. Um, and apparently there is no way to successfully do that. That's it. I've gotten all the possible endings. Uh, according to what other people have, have said, maybe there's some, some big secret whatever that no one's discovered yet, but I doubt it. So my thinking is it was potentially Cornell that was sneaking around in these, in these shrines before us. Um, Maybe uh, on the on the orders of our father, um, whether it was to try and set things up for us uh, for this meeting, for us to eventually fulfill this ritual and permanently open the portal. Um, but I don't know. Some of it just doesn't quite align for me, uh, which is my inclination as to why I think there's probably was at least intended to be another game. I don't know because if. If they wanted to bring us here to permanently open the portal, why would they just kind of let us go so easily? Not to mention, it, it in the credits, it says uh, the portal opens again, which 
we've been told only happens every 21 years, I believe. I think that's I think that's what it said closer to the end. I thought at the beginning it said it did it once every year, but maybe it was every 10 years or 21 years or something like that. And um, maybe I misinterpreted it, but in the credits it felt like it implied it opened soon after. Um, uh, which, I don't know, it, 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 it felt weird to me. It felt like the implication was then that maybe our dad managed to do it and opened the portal again, but then that doesn't make sense because apparently he needed us to open the portal permanently again. Um, so how did that portal just <laughs> just just randomly open again? And, and um, yeah, why did they, they let us leave if they needed us to permanently open the portal to, to quote unquote like fix our worlds? What else was there? I'm also not exactly sure uh, what the deal is with the very first shrine, the one we ended up going back to. Um, in in the very end um i tried to have a look back at it i only skimmed it though and i couldn't really pick up too much lore about it I'm not exactly sure who the the pink wolf is some of that imagery ties very strongly to june for me which was part of my reason why i read it as maybe that's her dad because you've got the mask and the sword imagery which is very closely tied to Jun. so part of me is thinking maybe the dad was running around trying to set these set up uh, this this thing with Jun to permanently open the portal and just stay down there too long and turned into a grievance accidentally. That could potentially be a possibility. Maybe um, they still seem to have some kind of level of intelligence, but but I think um, he wasn't orchestrating this while a grievance because then when they ran into each other, he probably would have recognized her as Jun and not just attacked her. Then my thinking also is that it's probably Cornell and the dad who who kidnapped Persimmon and Paxton. Um, just it was they like they they knew that that uh, Liza was friends with us, so they're like, "Cool, here's some blackmail to ensure that uh, Watsy will stay here, so we can try and permanently open these portals." Um, uh, so once. I guess Jun goes back and it's clear that it's not going to happen anymore. They just let them go. I don't know. I feel like there could have been more expl ex exploration with that. I see. I don't know. I, I find the story of this very interesting, but it feels just a little bit too open ended for me, like not open ended in a speculative way, just kind of open ended in a, in a not quite, um, fully fleshed out way or or setting up for another game that's that so far hasn't revealed itself to us yeah but i think those are my main thoughts at the moment if i missed anything i'll leave it in the comments down below but if you have any thoughts about uh, theories about what's going on if you have points of anything that i've missed please let me know in the comments below i really i really want to know i think if i get a chance i'm going to sit down and see if i can uh, you see if any of the the runes and stuff here are translatable i don't know if they're gonna add too much but just a few times throughout playing the game i noticed them and potentially even just sometimes a word in a place can help unlock unlock certain ideas and, and stuff like that so but if you have any thoughts or theories or anything like that i would highly appreciate your input so thank you very much and i'll jump back to the past well damn i just played through that whole game again well, I'm glad I went back and saw that, and I think I... I don't know if I ended up getting getting the, um... Uh, find every item in the game. I don't know what on earth I could have missed. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> if I find out anything else, if I make any, any connections, um, later on, I'll update you. Um, but... There you go. There's the, the Cornell ending. <laughs> well, thank you for sticking around for the extra video. And I need to go have my lunch. So thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll, I'll see you all in, in the next one, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Bye.